Hello and welcome everyone to the global meditation with the Alchemy Collective Consciousness on February 20th, 2024. My name is Christian. I am part of the Alchemy ground crew and the other members of the ground crew are NLRI, our voice and channel. We're here on Vancouver Island in Canada. Then there is Paula. She's in Montana. Saarala is in Florida and Maria is in Germany. And before I pass you on to NLRI, a big thank you to everyone that has donated so far. Um, as you know, we do this weekly global meditations for free, and there are just a few costs that we need to cover. So um, if you would like to donate, um, you just go to our website, thealchemycollective.org, and look for the yellow donate button. Um, thank you again, everyone, and now I pass you on to NLRI. Thanks, Christian, and welcome to Luz Mila and Davinder. Welcome, Monica and Mary. Welcome, Emilia. So glad to have everybody with us. Uh, just a reminder, uh, we're going to do the most of the announcements at the end. Um, but next week we've had to change the schedule. So next Tuesday we will be at the same time. It will be in the morning. Um, so uh, just so as a reminder, we'll change it on the website and we will, it, it is changed. You'll get your notice the day before. And if you read it, it'll tell you that it's at this time. Okay. All right, everybody, let's get started by connecting to the light. And just see, feel, or sense as we bring in that pure source light. And just consciously connect with your highest self. And just see before you a beautiful golden disc. And it's larger than a dinner plate. And that's the alchemy's travel disc. And as you step upon it, just feel as it brings you up, up, up to the alchemy's field. And if you're new with us, you'll see this beautiful field with large trees on either side and beautiful grasses and gorgeous flowers everywhere. And as you look down the field, you'll see this beautiful crystal. It's quartz-like in color and texture. It's huge, it's the size of an old oak tree. And as you walk or travel on your golden disc down, we want you to stand in a circle around it. It's the alchemy's home crystal, their energy portal. Greetings, beloved ones. We are the alchemy and on this day we greet you. It is our pleasure to be present with you each and every day, but especially on Tuesdays as we come forth in the spoken word through Anna Larai. We call forth now on Anna Larai, the one we sometimes call ribbons. We call forth on Christian, on Karila and Mother Gaia to step into the crystal, for it is through these for beings to human and to etheric who we run our energies through to you and to the earth planes and see or feel now as each of them receives a purple a blue a green and a platinum ray, each of the four of them. And these come down and connect in their hearts. And these four rays weave together into one into one ribbon so to speak or one piece of yarn where you see the four colors they weave together 
and see or feel now as Anna Lurie sends you her four colors, her ray uh, with four purple, blue, platinum, and green. And it connects with your heart and feel as we send love and light through all of these four colors. And feel now as Christian also sends you the same four rays or ribbons all woven together. And he connects with your heart and it goes out the back of your heart and it wraps around to the right around this whole group, whether you're with us today live or listening to this recording. And it goes all the way and connects back in with the back of your heart. And as you hear Anilarai yawn, know that it is the vibration or energies rising. And now Karila sends this mm, four-part ray out to you with the green, the blue, the purple, and the platinum. And it too connects with your heart. And Mother Gaia does the same. And so feel as you are connected to all four of them and to us through these 16 threads of purple, blue, platinum, and green. So yes, compared to last year, you are receiving more energy from us on these Tuesday Global Meditations. And feel now as the diamond lights begin to flow the white, the pink, the golden, and the aqua. And all of the diamond lights carry the next, mm, carry the codes of remembrance of who you are on all levels. And all of the diamond lights are what you refer to as the next wave of ascension energy. and just receive. And we remind you that you can call on the diamond lights up twice a day, up to 60 consecutive minutes, but once at bedtime and never when you are driving, beloved ones. And these will support you in your own journey to support you in the remembering of your own magnificence. Beautiful, beloved ones, beautiful. So the diamond lights are flowing. You are connected to us. And as you know, the energies are changing and this year, the energy of discernment is coming in, the frequencies are higher. We have talked a lot about this year and on your screen you can see that after 11 years, we have changed the look of our, we will be changing our website, but our posters to advertise the global meditations and what we have on our Facebook page, for we feel this beautiful photo or this creation by AI of a new world better represents the energies coming in, that shift to the higher dimensions. So just feel as these new energies flow
as well as the diamond lights, as well as love and light. And one of the big changes or additions that began on the winter solstice on December 21st was the vibration or energy of discernment that also flows onto your planet now. Beautiful. And as we have shared the themes this year, not that we normally have themes, but the energies this year that are most powerful are those of discernment, the vibrations of peace, and the vibrations and energies of sovereignty for yourself and others. It is the time, if you have not already begun so to step to begin these steps into personal mastery to take responsibility for your own words your actions and your energies to really begin to look at how you choose to live your life how you spend your time and energies Beautiful, beloved ones, beautiful. You continue to receive the diamond light, the vibrations or new energies of discernment, love and light and we are going to ask you now to travel to travel on your golden disc to a place of nature in a country you do not live in a country you do not live And you will still be connected to us. And if you could write in where you're traveling to. So in this country where you do not live, you're going to travel to a place of nature. And you are going to connect to the unity grid six feet or two meters below the Earth's surface. And please tell us, type in where you are going. The Amazon Basin, Sri Lanka, Denmark, Ukraine, England, New Zealand, Mexico, 
London, England. So make sure you find a place of nature inside London. China, Colombia, Bulgaria, Basque County, Italy, Great Britain, Russia. Tibet, Canada, Peru, the Arctic Circle, Cambodia, Scotland, beautiful. And just allow your legs to grow below your knees as you connect down to the unity grids. And feel now as Karila comes forth. And Karila is one of the beings who will eventually be holding the consciousness of planet Earth as Mother Gaia completes her journey. And it will be Karila and a council of 12. And we also have Penang Island in Malaysia, we have Switzerland, and someone moved to Bournemouth, England, instead of London. And Karila comes forth. And as you connect to the unity grids, feel now as Karila begins a download, the vibration of new venation. And this is for you, into your body, for your human, for your energy field. And those of you that do not know it, it is a vibration three she brings through. It is the vibration or energy of rejuvenation, but more, the new part, part that has never been here on your planet. It supports the human body. It is, supports your awakening and supports you. And it supports you with all of these new frequencies that are coming onto your planet and get stronger each and every day. And so feel now as this vibration of Nuvanation begins to flow. It comes down into your soul star chakra and your crown. And simultaneously it flows into your heart. And it comes down the whole body. and just receive this vibration of nuvenation. And Karila flows it throughout your body, into your nervous system and your organs, through the chakras. It flows into the auric field and down your legs. But you must be filled up first. So just continue to receive this vibration. And whenever it comes through, it is always the newest and highest frequency. 
for the new venation continues to change as well. And the new venation flows to all parts of you and fills you up and fills your field, fills your heart and your liver, your gallbladder and your stomach. It coats the nervous system and the digestive system. The diamond lights continue to flow, as does that vibration and energy of discernment. And of course, we flow love and light from source directly into you as well. And as you begin to feel saturated and filled, allow the new venation to also flow into the unity grids below your feet. But you are filled up first, always you first. And this is really the first time in this year that Karila has come forth to flow this vibration. And those of you that remember, this is much stronger than it has been before. And all you need to do is receive. Simply say yes and allow. And you are anchored in places of nature around the world in various countries connected to the unity grid. And the excess is flowing through you and into the unity grids. But as always, you are first. You are first. Beautiful, beloved ones, beautiful.
And the new venation flows through your body, supporting you. And any excess you allow to flow through your legs and feet and down into the unity grids for Gaia and Karela to utilize as needed. And we would like to add a vibration as well as nuvination. Feel now as the vibrations of peace also flow into you and down into the unity grids. The vibrations of peace as well flow into you and into the unity grids. And allow yourself to be filled with peace first, always. So peace and nuvination, both flowing into you deeply and into the unity grids. The diamond lights are not flowing into the unity grids, only into you. And just receive. Allow yourself to be filled up and blissed out if you wish. Nuvenation and peace. And Karila wishes you to know, for she has not come forward much of late, that she continues to be very present, doing much needed work in the background and preparation for what is coming. Just continue to receive. And in this state as you are receiving, 
we would ask you to repeat the intentions in this state here connected to the unity grids with love and light and peace and nuvination flowing and diamond lights. So we ask you to repeat this daily and that means you say it three times aloud and that is your one time. That it, they are in groups of three. It is always a group of three. And so we invite you to repeat this with us now from this beautiful state of energy. Our intention is that all of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. All of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. And finally, all of humanity can opt for a gentle awakening to remember their true divine nature. And if you have not done so already, we highly encourage you to state this in your own way so that you are making it clear to the universe, as many of you did last year, that you are choosing. Because this general statement, this intention, does not mean that you need to make your own statement. I am opting for a gentle awakening to remember my true divine nature or to further remember my true divine nature. And so this is important. To state if you have not done so three times. And we would invite you that each year, at least once, to make it known again. So maybe you want to say it now together. I am, let us one moment, and Alarai needs to come forth. I am opting for a gentle awakening to further remember my true divine nature. I am opting for a gentle awakening to further remember my true divine nature. I am opting for a gentle awakening to further remember my true divine nature. And so, beloved ones, we remind you each year to make this statement aloud three times, for you always tell the universe three times, because it is not enough to call for it for all of humanity to, to have a choice, but you, when you are ready, want to make your own choice, your own choice of awakening. And so you are still connected to the unity grids. You are still in a place of nature, in a country you do not live. Karila is flowing the new venation into your body to fill you up. And the vibrations of peace are also flowing into your body. And in, as you fill up and saturate, the excess vibrations of new venation and peace are flowing into the unity grids six feet or two meters below your feet. Just continue to receive another few minutes.
And yes, beloveds, the vibrations are very strong in this moment. Just continue to receive. Continue to receive. And some of you might feel a little sleepy afterwards. We ask you to listen to your body. This is quite a strong download. Beautiful, beloved ones, beautiful. Continue to receive.
Beautiful, beloved ones, beautiful. And you, as you are in this space, you are still receiving the new venation and the vibrations of peace. And we wish to remind you that we have two gatherings this year. Our first is an online gathering, April 7th to 11th, which is five days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can participate from anywhere in the world. It will be online. But we do ask you to not be going to work and to manage your time such that you can focus on the gathering. And these are the places, the gatherings are where we do our deepest work where the energies will build 24 seven for five days. And where we really do the co-creating for humanity and for Mother Gaia and Karila at a very different level than we can do just one hour per week. And our second gathering will be an in-person gathering in September at Deerhurst Resort in Canada, in Ontario, that is the central province. It is two hours north of the city of Toronto where you would fly in internationally. It is right on the lake and there is a picture here. The fall colors will be happening and um, it is quite a beautiful place. And so we hope that you will consider joining us for one or both of our gatherings. And the registrations are available on our website now. That is April 7th for the online gathering and September for the in-person gathering in Canada, in Ontario, Northern Ontario at the Deerhurst Resort and an area they call Muskoka, a very beautiful natural area. So we remind you of this. And feel now as the vibrations of new venation slowly stop flowing. But the peace continues to flow to you. And we ask you to disconnect from the unity grid. And you travel back here to the alchemy crystal. You are still connected. The diamond lights are still flowing. The discernment and the peace is still flowing. And what we wish to do, we like to do analyze announcements. She helps us. So as you are in these beautiful states, we would also like to share some of the things she is doing for they also support you. This Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific, is the next advanced opportunities which falls on the full moon and coming forth what will happen this one is she is going to do the session on releasing your connection to the distortion fields to the distortion fields with archangel clarity and we invite you to participate for this is very important and you will see this on saturday and if you cannot be with them live they will be uh, recordings that will be available that will be available in the shop or if you have registered then they will be sent out that day so this is this saturday with archangel clarity the releasing your connection to the distortion fields. And then in March, we have also, not we, but the other beings of light, have also indicated what they will do, the one day workshop on March, we think it might be the, let us look, 16th. And this will be about, mm, 
the completion of karma, of what you refer to as karma, the energetic residue. So the whole day will be around the final pieces or the completion or dissolving of karma. And that is the one day workshop. And she reminds you, and we remind you, that we asked her this year to regularly share the energy, the knowledge, and wisdom through Sparkles of Love. And this she is doing every Wednesday. So this year there is a new blog that, that goes out both on her website and on her Facebook page and uh, with new information for you. And on Thursday, she is doing live streaming on this thing you call YouTube, giving new energies and updates, and there's always a download of a frequency. So she is sharing greatly. And so there is lots to receive, should you be interested. And the final announcement that we do for her, uh, we love this one, is our beloved Lord Shiva. It comes forth in March for those of you that are looking to have the advanced chakra system. And it is a six week program of recordings and a weekly live class with Anna Larai and Lord Shiva, where your advanced chakras are completely restored. And this is new just in these last couple of years when the vibration on planet Earth allowed for this change. So the chakra system could not be completed. And with these advanced chakras, you receive more source energy. You have a greater connection to your highest self and your guides. You never need to open or clear your chakra system again. And it is a most profound change in your energetic system once you move into the advanced chakras. And so, beloved ones, the vibrations of peace slowly stop flowing. And the energies of discernment and the diamond lights gently stop flowing. Beautiful. And so, beloveds, feel now, as Christian gently dissolves his connection to you in the group heart, and Karila gently dissolves her purple, blue, platinum, and green ray, and Mother Gaia also dissolves the ray the four-part ray connected to your heart. And Anna Lurai now dissolves the four-part ray connected to your heart. And your golden disc brings you back to your own time and space. We ask you to drink of the water. And someone asks us, can we call on the energy of discernment on our own? Well, it is flowing onto the planet, so you can call on it, but we don't know how that will work for you. It is, you have many distortions in your own fields, beloved ones. Uh, but yes, you can call on it, but it it is, in the flow of what is coming down. It is not an individual stream. But we would invite you to tune in more 
to tune in more. And let us see here. Those of you that have the 33 codes of origin, you can simply call on also the, um, the vibration of truth, right? Because you can always feel truth. But it is easier and will become easier to discern things, to feel and remember what we said the, the other day about discernment. It is the quality of being able to grasp and comprehend what is obscure, truth versus untruth, manipulation intent. And another says, thank you for filling us up with these beautiful high frequencies. They are super energizing. Thank you. Brings us more. Uh, a question from my mind. Why do you have us anchoring these energies etherically into a place where we do not live? Uh, this is simple, beloveds. Many of you that listen are in North America. And we want them more easily uh, distributed throughout the world. And that is why. That is why. And always a place of nature. What do you consider to be distortions? Well, that is really not a discussion we will get into at this moment. Beloved, that would be a long discussion. But... As and we shared the advanced opportunity this Saturday is about a disconnection from the distortion fields. So that might tell you a lot. And let us see. So your dictionary says. Distortion is the action of giving a misleading account or impression. It is in, uh, let's see, to twist out of the natural, normal, or original shape. It is the alter, altering of the original shape. All right, which other questions do any of you have? We will be, we don't, we know we don't ever tell you what is coming in a gathering, but we would say to you that this year, in both gatherings, but especially the in-person gathering, we will be working with the releasing and dissolving of a lot of these anchors and distortions and manipulations of the fields. And of course, we will need minimum numbers of attendees to do, be able to do these things. But this is what our focus this year at the gatherings will be. And we will not get into more specifics than that. And as always, our gatherings are about raising your vibration and supporting you on the human level and helping you awaken to deeper levels. All right, beloved ones, we hope you have a blessed week. We will see you next Tuesday at this same time. And uh, we thank you uh, for sharing our message and being present with us. We are the alchemy. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Bye for now.